Having just covered a couple of pre-processing steps for DTI data, namely distortion correction with top-up and eddy correction with the eddy tool, we're now ready to move on to actually creating and fitting the tensors. And this will create these FA or fractional anisotropy maps. So to do this, will look pretty similar. We did it with some example data just a few di videos ago. But all we do is go to the GUI and open up FDT Diffusion. I'm doing this from the directory where I just did the eddy current correction and also top of. I select DTI fit and specify input my files manually because uh, I just feel a little bit better doing that. We're going to select eddy unwarped images for the diffusion weighted data everything that we just did all the pre-processing for and also we selected a mask right here. Okay, so whatever you've generated using BET, the brain extraction tool. We will also supply the gradient directions in the BVEX file and BVALs as well. Click go and this process only takes about 10 seconds or so. Once all the slices are processed we can go ahead and look at those tensors just like we did previously. So that's done. Go to FSL view just to make sure that this looks correct. Again, typically you try to do this for every single subject just to make sure nothing went terribly, horribly, horrendously wrong. First we're going to open up the DTI underscore FA which was just generated and to look at these tensors let's add the principal component this V1 right here, DTI V1. Now remember we click on this I down here and select the image type to be diffusion tensor. We can then display as RGB and modulate it by DTI FA. So what's going to be brightest showing up in this map is where the diffusion is the greatest in a particular direction. Okay, so that is just the uh, fractional anisotropy step. We actually create the tensors. And then the rest of it is just going to be some more processing and then the actual statistical analysis to compare tracts between, let's say, two groups.